player choice is an essential element of The Witcher 2. So here we are, at the very beginning of the game, where we find Geralt being a personal guard of King Foltest, who is storming the gates of Lavalette Castle. Now let me tell you what set of skills Geralt has, that even the king feels safer with the Witcher by his side. Even at the very beginning of the game, Geralt already has different kinds of attacks that make him effective both against large and small groups of enemies. Over time, as you progress throughout the game, you find more layers and more depth in the game's combat system. You can also unlock brand new skills and abilities like nice spectacular finishing moves. It's also about how you choose to develop your character that will determine how Geralt fights in a game. We have three paths of character development, alchemy, sword and magic. Alchemy allows you to prepare for combat. For example, you can brew potions that aid your perception or make oils that enhance your weapon. There are more advanced uses of magical spells, which we call signs. With some of them, you can now engage multiple opponents at the same time. And if you decide to develop your magical character far enough, you will be able to unlock brand new, six magical signs. Developing your character towards sword fighting can give you brand new possibilities and skills that you can unlock, like a repost on the opponent. It requires some timing, but is deadly effective. And even at the end of the tree, there's a really cool looking and deadly effective group finisher, which allows you to eliminate up to three opponents at once. Obviously, the main weapons of Geralt are his two swords. Steel one, primarily for human opponents, and the silver one for monsters and magical creatures. But obviously, there are other various weapons that you can find throughout the game. Different clubs, different kinds of axes and hammers. And also, there are ranged weapons that you can throw. Also, opponents come in many varieties in The Witcher 2. It's up to you what tactics you will use against them, but it will turn out that some of them might be resistant against certain types of elements, some others against certain types of weapons. And you always want to be extra careful fighting against monsters, because against them your sword might just not be enough. Fear not though, for this kinds of occasion you always will have items or traps that you can craft. And don't forget that you can create your own unique fighting styles with mixing up stances of your sword, magic and items. Now imagine a situation where you throw a bomb into an entire group of enemies, it spreads out a flammable gas and then you put an evening sign which sets them on fire. Oh yeah, and in case you do not care about strategic combat in Witcher 2, you might just head on to the tavern and punch somebody straight in the face.